Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome back to Mommy Confidence Kitchen. Thank you all for tuning in. Today video, I'm going to show Una as I say make this crunching, delicious Nigeria chin chin. So, we prepare the dough for live video. If you want to learn how to prepare the dough or how we say prepare the dough, go watch my previous video for live video that will for prepare the dough. So, this idea for this chin chin, I step by step for beginners so on a dry surface you go sprinkle small little flour on top then you go cut small dough put on top of it and you go cut the roller when you the roller roller may be say you not go too day flat and you not go too day thick it go just day okay so the main reason why you put flour for the surface before you start to the cotton now make it be say the dough you not go gum the surface where you put them so you go use your knife, take cotton, or if you get pizza cutter, you fifty use them. But as it be step by step for beginners, fair cutter tiny tiny like this. Then later you go come the collect them one by one, come the cotton into the shape where you want make the shishi get, and how you want make the chin chin make it big rich. If you want use them for business, you fit cut some more smaller, you cut some into square. And you go also cut some, make it long way well, because they, they see some chin chin when it be say they long. So as you they cut and like this, so you know say if you not sprinkle flour put on top, all of them they go gum together. So before you go they cut them, you go first put small flour for the dry surface. Then as you go they cut them, if they don't the many, you go come sprinkle small flour on top of them so that when you go put them for fire, they not go gum together, come between. Once you put them for fire, as a sprinkle flour ah, on top of them, they go they separate, they go come out one by one, and they go they very fine. So my people, I will be repeating the same process in cutting all the chin chin dough. So now, once you don't cut and finish, you go pack them, put for your train or for your plate. Then you make sure say you don't sprinkle. Sprinkle means say you don't carry small flour put for your hand you can't use your hand and drop them on top so this one and all the chin chin where it be say i don't cut so now on a preheated fry pan i go go ahead i go put my sunflower oil i go leave and make it hot small before later i go come they put one chin chin dough inside make i use and test the oil whether the oil don't hot rich and you go make sure say you not go too high your oil because if you too high uh, your chin chin it go burn so not too high um, and not too low um. if you still low and too much the chin chin it go suck oil so make the chin chin for come out perfect you go just leave the fire for medium heat not too uh, hot and not too low you understand so you go the turn them um, they stir fry them um. They fry them, so they fry them because they turn them with your spoon. So I go to fry them until it turn to golden brown. Because me, I want to make it chin chin, make it just they very crunchy. Crunchy, now it be when you go to eat them, you go to make quan 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 for mouth. That one, I be crunchy. So for now, the color don't they okay. I go to pack everything, they come down. So my people, if today now your first time here, yeah, or you just come across my video, you are highly welcome to Mommy, Mommy Confidence Kitchen. Thank you all so much for tuning in. If you have watched this video up to this time, may the good Lord bless you. See you all in my next video. If you never follow my page, Uguana, press the follow button when you show blue. Follow my page so that you don't go, go miss my future recipe. So my people, Una, see the delicious crunching chin chin came out so perfect. See you guys. Bye.